Welcome to Painted Kids Studio, where we make amazing art videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new art video. Hello friends, Miss Kate here with another unicorn animal. So at the studio, my friends are loving these unicorn animals. This one I think is called a puppicorn, which is a mix between a puppy and a unicorn. So it's just a puppy with a unicorn horn. I'm gonna show you guys how to draw a puppicorn. So I'm working on paper today and I'm working with Sharpie. Um, I would highly recommend whether you're working on canvas today or on paper, do not start with Sharpie friends. I want you to start with pencil and eraser just in case you make some mistakes. So with the puppicorn, I'm gonna start with this, the puppicorn's head. So the head is just gonna be a circle but I have to leave a little opening for that unicorn horn. So I'm gonna start up here I'm gonna go like this, around, 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 like this, and I'm gonna stop right before I get to the, where I started. So I have almost a full circle. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw like a tall, thin mountain, like this, right in between, like that little gap in that circle. After you have that, we're gonna turn this into our unicorn horn by just giving it a curved bottom. And then I just like add these little stripes, like that. And then I'm gonna do the puppy snout. That's where the nose and mouth go. So it is just a circle like this at the bottom of the bigger circle. So it's a smaller circle at the bottom of the bigger circle. After you have the snout, we're gonna go ahead and put a big puppy nose in there. I usually add a little sparkle on my puppy noses. Got a wet nose maybe, like this. All right, so it's a little shiny. All right, after you have your nose, we're gonna go ahead and do the puppy's mouth. So my puppy's mouth is just a swoopy whoopy. Just like that, happy puppy. After you have the puppicorn's nose and mouth done, we're ready for the eyes. Now, I like to do my eyes really big and sparkly, so I'm gonna show you how I do my cutie eyes, but if you guys want yours to be winking or sleeping, it could have his like, eyes like closed, like just like, like, a, like an arch, like a curve. You could do it like that, but I always like to make my eyes kind of the same. So I'm gonna do two big circles. So that's the beginning of my eye. And then I gotta turn them into donuts, like this. And then, in those donuts, I put a couple sparkles and I color in the middle. Now, if you guys are working on canvas, you guys, when you are done with the pencil part, go ahead and Sharpie all your lines. That way, when you start painting, it's a lot easier. Just You'll be able to see your sketch better and you'll be able to fill in those lines with paint. All right, so I've got my puppy's eyes, and I've got the nose and mouth, and the puppicorn has its horn. So right now we're just missing ears on the face, and then we gotta get to the body. So puppy's ears, there's so many different ways to draw puppy's ears. So you might have a dog at home that has like kind of pointy ears. You can do pointy ears. Um, you could do curly ears. Some dogs are a little fluffy. You could do like this, all these, these circles here could be fluffy if you wanted a fluffy puppicorn. I'm gonna do my puppy with long floppy ears, like this. And if you guys want to like get fancy, sometimes like I'll put like a little extra something, like sometimes I'll put like a little flower or something in, yeah, like I do this a lot with my animals. That's cute, just like a little extra something. If you wanna add a little extra flower or something, you can. After you have your ears on, we are ready for the puppicorn's body. So my puppicorn, I kind of simplified it. It looks almost like a beanie boo, like one of those little stuffed animal dogs. So it's really simple how you make it look like it's sitting down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do like a line and a line, like that. And then I'm gonna do this, curve it up. And this one is kind of like tucked behind the other one. So now we've got like two front paws. And if you want to, you can go ahead and put those little paw lines on there, like that. And then I'm gonna have it look like it's sitting down. So I'm gonna do two like Easter egg shapes kind of tucked behind these front paws a little bit. 
these are gonna be the back paws. So to make them look like the back paws, we gotta put a paw print inside. So I do one big circle with three little circles on top. That's how I make my paw prints. One, two, three. And then we need the, the paws, the feet, to be attached to the body. So I'm gonna do like the knees. So just like a little curve. Well, it looks like the puppacorn's sitting down. Another thing I like to add on puppies sometimes, and you don't have to, but if you wanna do a little peek of the tail, you can put a little peek of that tail that's behind the puppy. So there you have it. We have our cute little peppercorn. You guys can put your peppercorn <clears throat> in any kind of place that you want. So if you wanna put your peppercorn at the beach, if you wanna put like sand and palm trees and ocean, that's fine. Um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll just put like, like grass or something behind it. Um, so really, I mean, you could put flowers, maybe because it's got a flower in it. Maybe it's like a spring puppacorn. You could put some little flowers here and there. So you guys can decorate this however you want. Another thing is, the puppy does not have to be like brown or gray or black. It doesn't have to be like a real like puppy dog color because it's a puppycorn. It's like a magical animal. So if you look at my example, it's pink and purple. You could even do a rainbow puppycorn if you want. So I'm gonna let you guys choose how you want to color your puppycorn or paint your puppycorn. You guys can paint it any way that you like. Thank you so much for joining me today for our Unicorn Animal of the Day. We've got a couple more of these coming up this week. So I hope you had fun drawing with me and I hope to draw with you again tomorrow.